Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 20, Homework. Use the graph to answer the questions. Johnny left his home at 6 a.m. and kept track of the number of kilometers he traveled at the end of each hour of his trip. He recorded the data in a line graph. A. How far did Johnny travel in all? And how long did it take? Well, let's first look at how far he traveled. So this y-axis here is the distance in kilometers that he traveled. So he starts right here, which is this mark marking right there. It's in between two and six. So this is gonna be four. So he starts at four kilometers and he goes all the way up here to this would be 20 kilometers. So the difference in those, if he started at four kilometers and went all the way to 20 kilometers, the difference there, he would have traveled 16 kilometers. And how long did it take? Well, he starts here at 7 a.m. And he's finished at 12 p.m. 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. would be five hours. B. Johnny took a one hour break to have a snack and take some pictures. What time did he stop? So let's look for a period where he's not making any progress on distance, but the time is still happening. So that's going to be right here. So he's not traveling. He stays here at 14 kilometers, but it's between 9 and 10 a.m. So we're going to say that he stopped between 9 and 10 a.m. We know because... his distance does not increase. Or we could say stays the same. Did C, did Johnny cover more distance before his break or after? Explain. So we're looking for the distance before the break and after. So let's just look for before and then we'll find after. And we're looking for distance. So the distance before the break is here, starts at 4 kilometers to 14 kilometers, so that's 10 kilometers. And then after, it is 14 kilometers to 20, so that's 6 kilometers. So we would say that before, and I mean, you'd, we kind of already explained, but we could say he traveled kilometers before his break and six after. D, between which two hours did Johnny ride four kilometers? So we're gonna look at the difference between the hours here. So between seven and eight, he went from four to eight. So the difference between eight and four, that would be four kilometers. So between seven and eight a.m., he went four kilometers. Let's look at from eight a.m. to nine a.m. So from here to here, that's from eight kilometers to 14 kilometers. So that difference is six, so that's too far. Between nine and 10, he didn't go any kilometers. Between 10 and 11, the difference here, that is between 14 and 18, so that would be four kilometers. So let's add 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the last one we need to check is 11 to 12, he only went two kilometers. E, during which hour did Johnny ride the fastest? Explain how you know. So we're looking at where it has the steepest incline. And when I'm looking at the graph, the steepest incline I see is right here where he's traveling the furthest in the shortest amount of time. So here he's traveling, let's see, one, two, that's six kilometers in just one hour. And that's between eight and 9 a.m. So 
we could say he traveled six kilometers. We know because that is where the steepest oops, incline on the graph is.